June 5th, 2020. It is 5.10 p.m. I'm in Colorado Springs. Under duress. Never should have. Apparently, I don't have enough competency not to get myself stuck in the severest life-threatening situations, even if it isn't just physical or physical life, but social life and everything else I've talked about. I'm sitting here at 7270 Watonga Court, Colorado Springs, Colorado. I knew from day one I'm under the influence of family that, you know, being griped, pissed off, or relieving, creating havoc in life. So I stuck around. I first initially, with being here in about five days, said I wanted to take off. One, I had a 13 year old warrant, and that was marked non-extraditable, which they've been complaining since I was in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, they're just sabotaging whatever they can. And they, who, this, that, these guys are playing paranoia, psychological assault here. And in Columbus, and the group, and the mass amount of structure. Hopefully the FBI gets a hold of this. I think it's a federal hate crime offense happening to myself. Even though someone else is saying it's normal life shit. Well, normal life stuff, just like you know, a human trafficked victim, I've been knocked incompetent and not knowing my abilities and situations. The representations in the past or the probable investigations while I was put in what I was un under the influence and understood of protection, like Tucson, Arizona, we're talking 20 years ago type of stuff, and continuance of different things everywhere. Who's involved in this and what help can I get? Uh, I feel that I am being completely psychologically assaulted, threatened, intimidated, and mass amount of not only just social community, government influence, and abusive power, abusive systematical shit, and them getting away with it, just like interstate stalking and everything else. Anyhow, within a day to two days of being here, exactly the same repetitive shit being said in Columbus is right here. The only connection would be his family to start out with, but it's a multi-organizational connection. Hate crime is what I'm pitting behind it. The Federal Bureau of Investigation should pick up on that. Um, I would have to sign paperwork for them to pursue it, probably, and I'm willing to do so, but at the same time, I'll... <laughs> Being taunted and teased is what a psychologist told me. Uh, the same thing as being scolded and scorned is the same thing as assault. But they have police involved. They have, oh, we're higher intelligence. We know how the system works. And every time I come out, it comes out that there is corruption. There is fraud. Uh, there is just outright ig ignorance of ignoring intentionally, basically, police brutality, social brutality. And it's the same thing. The only brutality part isn't is it isn't hundred percent physical or at the moment per se in the situation of the psychological non physical touching completely is physical, but it's still brutality. I'm not the one that made uh, I won't say decision on that, but the talking of intelligence was through a psychologist from Twin Valley Mental Health, one place and in New York City, two places, and in Washington, D.C., three places, and other places just like Florida, but this is carrying out, that's 10 years ago, 20 years ago, five years ago, type stuff like that. Anyways, I wasn't here even a day, and they're utilizing a, Com a Columbus, Ohio connection and construction of uh, organization against myself. Uh, situation is Air Force, militarized intelligence, shit like that. Uh, the people that are in Columbus, I ain't been back here in 13 years. People is interstate stalking. Some of them have militarized backgrounds. The people that are off of, uh, which I've talked about, May Alley and Rich Street, being United States Air Force, influencing and recreating, and it's an assault, most people don't understand that they can say, like, Shawnee Drive. It's a Colorado thing, but I would remember people around me, they wouldn't even understand what happened. If I was beaten up here, raped, all that, Shawnee Drive to me is devastating. To somebody else, it just sounds like a street name. Anyways, you have government forms of not just military, police, and like I said, just government brutality affecting me here. Reaching out a hand, it's stupid to do. It's it, They could utilize a psychological system against me 
and confine me, threats and all this shit being done, but pitting out the word of exactly my location. Oh well. It can't really, in a sense, be any severer than what it already is. So if you'd like, you can drive around the neighborhood seeing who's talking out their windows, talking out their cars, doing all the rest of the shit, come investigate like what happened before I left, which people sued the system here. I've talked about this before. I was a part was supposed to have been a part of that system, but somebody erased my information in the petitions and the legal paperwork while I was being put under duress that hey, bat worse things could happen. We could sabotage, set you up and do all this shit. Anyways, this is basically what happened. Those people that seen that was a part of that lawsuit, it ain't just one or two, it was a group of people, met me out here in Colorado Springs and is acknowledging if we're taking community effect, the whole fucking community needs to understand that he was on the paper. I watched him and the person standing with me and the people standing with me. We watched him physically sign this paperwork and now it's disappeared. The situation is real. Anyways, trying to play Godfather, power play, yay, party time. Everyone around here, you can suck my dick type of fucking form. Step up to it. All I would love more than anything is to strip you of the rights of life the way you've done me. And the way that you're treating me. They, you should have the rights of your life systematically through the United States fucking laws and conducts. If not just state laws and everything else. Strip you of everything that the fuck that you, they have. Or you got. Because they're going to end up watching this. Repeating things that I've said on the internet then don't post them, but you're repeating, they've repeated things that I have in private, secluded drives, so it doesn't matter. Wiretapped, whatever it is, oh, ha, 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 yeah, you ain't nothing but a bunch of fucking dick-sucking bums utilizing somebody else to enthusiate your fucking life, building your socialism and entertaining yourself, which is found federally once it starts getting as a hate crime, a federal offense. It was talked about elsewhere, just like in Washington, D.C., no paperwork for myself. It's just being around or maybe getting advice or having somebody that has superior power, intelligent power, such as a federal agent, explaining and trying to maybe help out in a social integration situation of giving access and ability while also giving a person the ability to capacitate certain amount of law, lawfulness, uh, and intelligence, comprehension, rather than being a, like human trafficked and being knocked out of the competency, and then them being able to systematically gameplay that person. Anyhow, anybody's invited to come up here. You want to roll around the neighborhood, that's the address. It doesn't take any more than that than to roll around the neighborhood, much less the city. It's not even just a, you know, a couple of people, the gang associated. It's police. There is police brutality. I was locked up. I was bonded out. It was nothing but a backstabbing situation to get me here. To pit me through that system because it's Colorado King, Colorado Association, and you're abusing power elsewhere. Even though you've been gone 13 years, you're still utilizing Colorado for uh, enforcement to help yourself out. What a horse crock of shit. Basically, they're saying I'm utilizing Colorado competency, comprehension, defending myself elsewhere where they don't get along or they don't. Uh, they're applying that I'm not psychologically stable enough to be in their social situation. And with that, the interstate stalking. These people, including military, police brutality, interstate stalking of government on top of them, utilizing every form that they can to sabotage. Hate crime, period. Including my family. Anyways, utilizing that and attacking me just like in New York City and everywhere that I went. Stripping me of my rights of life, stripping me, attacking, what you going to do about it? You report us, you hit one of us, 900 million more of us come back after you, including police form. Well, you don't understand, and when I'm given the comprehension, the capacity, and the information from federal agents, other police, all kinds of shit, the same capacity should be comparable to the person trying to tell me that I am being socially restrained with the restraints and the legal restraints, the intelligence, the capacity of that restraint being real, and somebody else explaining in the same occupational capacity that it is incorrect or it, there is a correctness and a major incorrectness just like police brutality and corruption happening with it so it doesn't stand. Who gives a fuck? 
We're playing around with Colland, which is a vice admiral, used to be the vice admiral, admiral, also a CIA deputy director, intelligence, all that. You bring nothing but grief to my family. How the fuck is that? I traveled 3,000 fucking miles away from these people, and they follow me. Oh, we're all together. If we're all together, what happened to my life? I'm sick and dying more than likely, and it's being expressed by other people, uh, taking recognition like they should in the community, and... Uh, even if they're, once again, perfectly good strangers, just like what happened in New York City. You got here, they came and followed you. This ain't our community. They're doing things that are completely never been done here, or they're doing shit that hasn't, it isn't being done in this community. It isn't the community. You can't adapt because they alterated community value. They've alterated the atmosphere. They're doing things that was not here when you was not here. It's not your fault is what these strangers are saying. Multitudes of strangers just walking up. And believe it or not, like I said, all this support, we're helping you, we're doing this. How does a complete stranger outdo all of your shit? They don't even know me from Jack Diddley Squat. But yet they took the time to tell me I'm being stalked. I'm being followed around the community. They've watched people follow me 15, 16 blocks. They're not in here watching me to say, hey, you're a suspect. They are in here injuring Socially, psychologically, everything. A perfectly good stranger, why somebody's exerting the facts that we're helping you. You're a mental retard and don't know it. Really? How does a stranger completely help me out and you ain't done jack fucking shit, but completely, or these guys have done nothing but assault me. Associated Air Force, back in Colorado Springs, well, right here. I said back in Colorado Springs because I'm partially from Columbus right now. Lived out there like 10 years and... It'll get all mixed up, but either way, I ain't been here in 13 years. The Air Force situation, the same people, Liberty Place Apartment, Columbus, Ohio, Short Street, Liberty Street, and the situation going through there is exactly one of the same repetitive phrases being said that I was assaulted, and to me it's assault, that they're telling me I'm worthless, I don't need to be around them, this, that, those, and the others. If I don't need to be around you, why the fuck would you follow me to another motherfucking state just so you can instate the same emotional distraught that I'm around you. It's fraud. It's completely absurd assault. It's a human trafficking technique. I've had a real human trafficker brought out in front of me and his victims in New York City. I have no paperwork. Just take my word on it. And them outright being as mean, taking it, why somebody analyzes the situation of the behavioral patterns around me, the enforcements, the scolding, the scorning we use, and that's what I've done to my own victims. He's not lying. Why these, oh, we're not, you know, you can't do nothing. We're legal law enforcement got a right to do this. It's a sad fucking thing. You got children around you, and I have a human trafficker, and I have the victims there telling me the treatment that I'm getting is exactly the fucking treatment they got. A slave, incapacitated, controlled, dominated. I'm done. Ending this video for right now, I just want to put this video up and get it out there. Nobody I'm is crybaby this, that, hey. All I can do is try to reach out, being incompetent, try to figure out legal help, have somebody legally put together of what's right and wrong for myself, what is legal, what is not legal, and what should I do about it? Well, it's already been explained like psychiatrist understood. Well, leave. Oh, wait a minute. He, it's understood. He already left the situation by 3,000 miles, per se. And they are interstate stalking and following. Evidence needs to be built of that. They was going to go to the police with me to explain my situation in Columbus, Ohio, except for the corrupted form from Columbus, Ohio, because that's where my family roots were partially from, and the corruption that has happened. There is family members, neighborhood members, and other things, on top of already city corruption, that are involved, that are targeting me, that are a part of the organized situation, so it may not have been of my best benefit, even for my safety, to go to local law enforcement that needed to go to an external range, at which point they could not help out with that because they only have resources and access locally. But yeah, even the institution lockup evaluation situation started to help out with that. As far as I was understanding, for me to go in and explain the same thing I did to them, the same thing to the police. 
the supposed law enforcing people. That ain't enforcing law. Have some type of hardcore police brutality and organized profiling situation against myself without it being systematical completely. Anyways, and in this video, I've already put out a duress message on a different channel 10 days ago. I wasn't here but five days, got arrested, and went to jail even though I was bonded out, being threatened and yo-yoed with that situation of we'll take away your bond, we'll do this. You better do as I tell you. Domination. And family love, community love, that ain't love. That's dominating, controlling, and being a dick. Being a little bitch-ass fucking pussy threatening somebody and not standing grounds because I guarantee the federal agents get involved again and they set other people off like perfectly good strangers, you'll get your rocks beat to fuck to death forever influencing your nasty, disgusting filth on everybody else. And hear the airplane in the back? Military Rodney, terrorism, what's up buddy? Hey buddy, I'm a general... I'm a fucking lieutenant, I'm this, my kids didn't need to go to school with you, you know, life mental retard, what I was told in Washington, D.C., not just told, but we were talking back and forth, just standing out in the perfectly good open, it isn't an actual legal meet, in a sense, that I went forward and said, hey, I got questions, can you help me, but they was helping out what I believe is social integration, which by law you have to help a person out with, and, uh, Especially if they're new to the community, you don't scold and scorn them of shit that they don't understand, in a sense, because they don't understand it. They need to learn it first to be scolded and scorned by it. Anyhow, me being scolded and scorned, uh, being told by the federal agents like an fMRI, uh, I've already went through that. I'm deformed. I've had x-rays. I'm not deformed. I've had MRIs of my brain that the brain is not deformed in any abnormalities so far. Um, going down to their psychological assault. We don't care. You're mentally retarded. By the federal agent standing in D.C. and New York City and me whining and crying, I just don't get the right to say what I want to. And, hey, if I raise my hand, I get I get handed everything on a gold and silver platter. But put together what was organized. Put together the social enforcement from New York City, the people in the subways following me around, which was allowable because they was either law enforcement or social workers completely discharging and trying I won't say completely they tried to get the situation done and dealt with over with uh, whatever they could even if it's criminally charging somebody and they realize this small situation supposedly you know just somebody being bothered isn't it's a mass organized situation and there is intelligence behind it people that have taken an oath to the fucking country misusing and abusing brutalitized wise of the intelligence they've been taught against another human being. Human rights violations. And these people was in subways with fucking, hey, you guys don't do that. We, if, go ahead and back off before you get your human rights yourself basically stripped from you because of your actions. While somebody else is throwing their hands up, we're untouchable. We can't be touched. It's all legal. It's all okay. And there are loopholes that allow them to do a certain amount of shit. But if they get caught fraudulating those loopholes in the wrong way, they can be charged criminally at the minimum. No different than the police telling me in New York City I have a family member playing a situation that they would extradite them and criminally charge them in New York City for the threats that they made. The way they're organizing their speech, the way they're trying to progress me. That's, that's family. That ain't even a perfectly good... That's not a stranger. That's not just somebody assaulting. That's all the way in deep in the heart, deep in the systematical shit of family. They can do it to my family. They damn well can do it to a perfectly, supposedly good stranger. An unknown person grouped up assaulting. Anyways... Me being told to get lost, get the fuck out of here, child molester, this, you look retarded, whatever they can do. You remember back in the day, all kinds of shit. I went to CJC, I do want to elaborate, I was about to end that. CJC, Criminal Justice Center, they treating everything like it was just yesterday. Police and law enforcement, systematical, what I call brutality, was talked about with the psychologist, and that is a, a mental brutalized form. 
But hey, that's the way. Yeah, you a criminal. You get, you take what you got. Don't do the crime. Don't do the time. Dup, dup, dup. And they're finding out I was coerced into getting a bag of chips out of a car while I was drunk. It doesn't make it right. But pitting things together, they could have done a much better situation on my case. Much less, if not, even criminally charge me and pursue the stalking that was happening by these other people. The people that was involved with that moved to Columbus, Ohio, just so they can utilize me for their wealth, social value, and entertainment. The wealth comes from them applying that they're researching and studying me with the legal right to make money, applying it to the state more than likely, or whoever they, you know, the state hired them or whatever type of situation. That they're getting a paycheck for it while they're also entertaining themselves personally, socially, everything else, and abusing everything. They're just outright doing whatever they can. Anyways, that's just some of the jibber jabber that's happened. So I've already had, and it ain't just like, ah, well, maybe you're you're thinking funny, it's schizophrenia, or maybe, you know, you're taking it too harsh. No, I've been through the ringer within seven days of being here. Now I've already been here. I came out on the 17th of May. It's June 5th. So that's, what, about 15 days? Something like that. I'm done. There's the address. This is the situation. Hey, I'm reporting back for myself, but also educating, showing, making the connections, showing that, hey, I'm not lying to those who are just like me, in a sense, a targeted individual, and showing that I have moved. I'm 3,000 miles back and stupefied. How dumb do you get to run back to your captors? It's no different than human trafficking victims. If you read into the stories, 90% of them are run back to their captors because they got no place to go. They've never been taught. They don't do this, that. Hey, I guess I can take the disgrace of my own self that I'm that incapacitated that I've gotten caught up in a situation I should not be in. Anyways, I'm out of here. I hope this educates, I hope some, it does help me out in creating, creating proof, but I hope it also shows that the situation it can be real for other people. And not just can be real, just the same interstate stalking, social forms and everything. Other people go through this shit. Not only microwaves, radio waves, all that. Taking it back to, hey, you can't deal with that, that's too schizoid, paranoia, freak shit. Just deal with the social form at first. I didn't talk about any of that just yet, of the other stuff happening. Deal with the social form first. Life form. I'm ending this video. Peace.